Hey guys, what's up? This is your friend Mainar from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel and another video on Tekla Structural Designer. So friends, in today's video, we'll show you all you need to know about rectangular grids in Tekla Structural Designer. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So first of all, while making grids, we have the option of importing the grid lines from CAD. We have the option of making grid lines directly from here. In the option of model, we also have the option of this rectangular wizard. So let's see how to use this rectangular wizard. So first of all, you have to go to model, you have to create the construction levels and when you just open this rectangular wizard, you can name the particular grids. So let's uh, name this as grid one. Okay, and then you can also choose your grid color based on your preference. Let's go with black. And after that, you can choose the levels in which you want to import the particular grids and here all you have the option of creating different grids for different levels so you just want to click on next you can select the origin of the grids so suppose you have two buildings you can select two different origins for your two grids then you can generate the grids and the line style you can select whether you want it to be a solid line whether you want to be a dashed line whether you want it to be a dashed and dot line so like this you can select and then you can select with the regular and the irregular grids so if you have a uniform structure then you can go with the regular grids uh, which is uh, you know generally used in the case of trusses and if you have an irregular structure which in all rcc building almost in all rcc building you have irregular lengths then you have to go with so let's uh, make a regular grid first and then we'll go with an irregular grid so let's say we want a regular grid of uh, let's say a spacing of 4 meter interval and we want uh, along the x we want two spans of 4 meter and then we can also name the grids uh, in a numeric or alphanumeric so suppose if we want 1 2 3 4 then we'll just uh, go with numeric or if you want abc we'll go with alphanumeric so along x let's go with uh, our uh, alphanumeric and next along y along y let's go with numeric so here we want let's say three spans of four meters and we'll go with numeric here so then we'll just click on next if you want to rotate the grid you can also do that and then next and then you can rotate if you want we don't want any rotation now uh, so we'll just click on finish so after you click on finish your grid is been ready as you can see this is numeric and this is alphanumeric so like this you can create uh, using the rectangular grid tool uh, if you can let me just now select and delete this because we want this uh, once again we'll again go with rectangular wizard and this time we'll go with irregular lines so we'll just uh, go with this and we'll go with irregular lines so along the x we want the lengths of different values say 3 meters and then 4 meters you have to give a space which you want or uh, you can insert commas that's the best option so with the help of commas you can just uh, do the spacing 5 6.2 so like this you can uh, just give it so in the x this time i'm keeping as uh, your alpha numeric and then next and then along the y also uh, you can give irregular grids here let's say 2 comma 4 comma 6 so you know viewing your particular uh, beam column plan you can just create your grids like this so we'll go with alphanumeric here and then click on next and next finish so like this you can create an irregular grid so friends in today's video we saw how to create regular as well as irregular grid in the Tekla Structural Designer software. So how did you find this video? Let us know in the comment section and also to share with our friends. Bye bye.